Most beginners get this wrong when using the insert function in Python. Let's say we have a list that contains some integer values, and now we want to add another integer to it. So to do that, we can use the insert function. Now the insert function needs two arguments. The first is the index where we want to insert the item, and the second is the item we want to insert. So let's say we want to insert the number 50 at index 6. But wait, we don't have an index 6 in our list. Our list only goes up to index 3. So you might think that when we run the program, it'll throw an index error, right? But here's the surprising part. It doesn't. Why? Because if the index you provide is greater than the length of the list, Python doesn't raise an error. Instead, it simply adds the item at the end of the list. So now, when we print the list, you can see that 50 has been added at the very end of the list even though we used index 6. And that's something many new programmers don't expect when using the insert function in Python.